Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'll be discussing about the integration of this Mailgun uh, in Node.js and I have been using the Nest.js or the amazing framework in the Node.js that, uh, that has the support for the Express and Fastify. So if you, are, if you haven't tried that, let, let it, let, let's try it. It's amazing. Uh, you, you will thank me later. So <coughs> uh a few months back i have i have used this uh smtp transport of the mail gun uh while integrating this uh, mail mailing library that is uh, i have also used the gmail for testing purpose in the local is the, the billing is associated with the same grid so in local i have used one domain account and then use the gmail but uh, but for the servers for the div and other environments i have used the mailgun and uh, uh, i have i have encountered a few issues uh, issues related to the authentication there were change in authentication and then also there were few issues regarding port and the isp blocking the port and then other issues were like um, dynamic url and blah blah so <coughs> rather than solving that i have uh, so I have seen the alternative solution of this API. So, so I, I, I have jumped uh, to this API and the API implementation is simpler. simpler. But uh, what you have to understand is uh, what kind of request uh, does it accept? That is uh, what kind of authentication and what kind of uh, request body does it, does it accept? And that, that are the thing that uh, you need to care. And uh, Melbourne accepts these uh, URL encoded form data and uh, that's uh, and the URL encoded form data means the form data uh, that uh, that are basically query strings that is uh, the key value pairs uh, key equals to value and then separated by this percent. simple as that and the request uh, URL is uh, something like this let me magnify it so request URL looks like this uh, API mailgun slash p3 slash you have to pass the domain you can, you can get this domain and this API key uh, from the mailgun dashboard and I think uh, in, while signing up there are free credentials as well so you can you can take help of that for testing purpose and I think uh, there are limitations certain limitation per month or something like that but uh, I, I have create credentials so I have used that and then <coughs> requesting with the, I have requested with this XS and also um, added a logger, the native logger of this NestJS and uh, and also sent a warning for if if the if something happens if there is some some error arises uh, on the way. So uh, let me start the server and then test it server is already up and uh, let me fire the let me, um, clear the screen and fire the api okay here you go no so you can see if logs there uh, here sending otp email is i have i have triggered the otp to this mail and the image has been successfully sent to this address and yes the request has been completed so that was triggered from the api and uh, here you can see the logs is uh, this is the log after the successful response okay and that as well and that uh, how easy this um, node mail mailgun api sorry uh, in the nss I, I think um, that's the similar method Will work on this uh, Node.js as well, <coughs> and uh, other things are I have used this uh, handlebar template, and th th these are the basically location of the template, uh, and uh, yeah, I, if if you need more explanation, then I'll I'll explain more in this uh, handlebar or templating email templating video, and that's all. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.